Samsung already has a pretty solid foldable phone in the face of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. But hey, almost a year has passed, so an upgrade has to happen. And it's pretty much confirmed that we will see what that upgrade is going to become late July. If you are one looking to join the foldable space right now, it may be worth exploring the question. Does one choose the old Z Fold 4 or wait for the new Z Fold 5? Samsung has been pretty iterative with its foldable design work so far with the Galaxy Z Fold 4 looking much like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 before it, only a little thinner and lighter. We expect the Galaxy Z Fold 5 to follow suit with some rumors even suggesting that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 design will be boring in its level of familiarity. One big new design feature could be a claimed water drop shaped hinge, which will enable the two sides of the device to lay completely flat against each other. That would be a big improvement over the Fold 4 aesthetically. It should also make the Fold 5 appear thinner when closed with the Fold 4 ranging from 14.2 to 15.8 millimeters thick. The new hinge mechanism could also reduce the depth of the crease running down the middle of the Fold 5, with some reports alleging a 15% smaller size for said valley. An even bigger design change may be even less visible. It's being claimed that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 may finally have a measure of dust resistance. It could manage an IP58 rating, which would be major progress and another step towards foldables attaining basic parity with non-foldable phones. For comparison, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 has an IPX8 rating, which means it's water resistant but has no dust resistance. That said, not all sources agree about dust resistance, so the Z Fold 5 may also end up with an IPX8 rating. With a slimmer, stripped back hinge, it's being claimed that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 could also be even lighter than the Fold 4, perhaps to the tune of 254 grams compared to the Fold 4 263 grams. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 debuted compatibility with Samsung's S Pen Stylus. Would it be too much to ask for a proper housing for this on the Fold 5? Probably, but we can dream. We're not expecting any great changes on the display front, which is fine by us. Samsung knows what it's doing on the screen front and everyone else is largely playing catch up. Reports suggest that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 will pack the same 6.2 inch AML LED cover display as the Fold 4 with the same 904 by 2316 resolution and 120 Hertz refresh rate. It's a similar case with the all important internal display with a claim that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will have broadly the same 7.6 inch AML LED screen with the same 1812 by 2176 resolution and 120 Hz refresh rate. There may be a couple of telling differences though. We've already discussed one in the form of a smaller crease which will likely improve both the tactile experience of using the screen and the coherence of full screen content. We've also heard that the Fold 5 screen could be more durable than before. Given that these soft screens are the Achilles heel of most of these foldables, that could be huge. Another improvement, according to the rumor mill, is that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 display will be brighter, going beyond the Fold 4's peak of 1200 nits. Don't expect sweeping changes in the camera department. Samsung struck upon a pretty nice balance with the Galaxy Z Fold 4, and it's not likely to mess with that formula too much. Reports suggest that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 will pack in another 50MP main sensor, like the Fold 4 with a 12MP ultra-wide and a 10MP telephoto. Despite the ostensibly identical nature of the two camera systems, however, it has been rumored that at least one of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 sensors will be new. Expect the same 10MP cover screen camera and 4MP internal display camera as before, with the latter sitting underneath the display. If I were to lay real money on any of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 rumors that are floating about, it would be this one. It will almost certainly run on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, which will represent a half-generational upgrade on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and its Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. That doesn't sound like much, but the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has been impressing us so far, running faster for longer than the Gen 1 series. Besides, this will likely be the same for Galaxy version of the chipset that found its way into the Samsung Galaxy S23 range, which runs a little faster than the regular version of the Gen 2. We've heard that the Fold 5 will come with 12GB of RAM as standard, just like the Fold 4, and it's also said that there will be the same 128GB, 512GB, and 1TB storage options. One particularly detailed spec leak also claimed that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 would feature improved speakers and haptics, so fingers crossed for a foldable that sounds and feels better. With reports that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is getting slimmer and lighter, we wouldn't hold out hopes of a bigger battery. 
The Galaxy Z Fold 4 had a slightly weedy 4,400 mAh battery and reports point to the same 4,400 mAh for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Not that this is a terrible situation by any means. Four generations in and soon to be five, Samsung is becoming an expert at eking out the juice from a compact battery for a device with a massive display. In our experience, you can squeeze around 13 hours of usage out of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 with more if you go lighter. We hope for an advance on that in the Fold 5 thanks to the more efficient chipset and another year of Samsung's optimizations. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 wasn't exactly rapid in the recharging department with 25 AWU wired support. We're not expecting the upcoming phone to get any faster, judging from early Galaxy Z Fold 5 certification listings. We're not expecting a massive foldable revolution with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, with all reports pointing to an iterative upgrade on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And do you know what? We're fine with that. We like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 an awful lot, scoring it 4.5 out of 5 and calling it a do-everything device that presents few compromises. It's arguably still the best full-size foldable on the market, even with the Google Pixel Fold joining the party. Besides, Samsung is unlikely to stand completely still, with reports of an improved hinge, souped-up performance, and greater durability from the Fold 5. The real question is, will the Galaxy Z Fold 5's subtle refinements make it preferable to the Galaxy Z Fold 4 once the latter has received its inevitable price slash? The Fold 4 is unlikely to become cheap overnight, but every $100 slopped off the bill will bring it closer to mainstream viability. Anyhow, guys, what are your thoughts on that? Let's know them in comment section below. Be sure to subscribe. Peace out.